through the dabber bottle, usually you just pull those off, and those are those can be kind of frustrating because um, sometimes when you pull it, off, pull it off, stuff comes out. So anyway, yeah, you unscrew. So it actually makes some lid sounds. Rose. 
those mossy patchouli accords. I get a little bit of the warm spicy. A little bit of amber. Citrus. Maybe. Um, just barely. But yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the actual notes in this fragrance. So, this fragrance uh, does not list top, middle, and base notes. It does just list them all as one. So, so the notes are sort of people who 
this or have smelled it do really like it. They do. Um, I really like it myself, but I do not think that I like it enough to keep it. Also, if I liked it a lot, I would try to invest in an actual bottle at some point, even though it's really expensive, because like I said, these Dabber bottles, they just, they just don't do it for me. There's like true enjoyment that I get out of the spray factor, you know, and so much of perfume for me is about the, the whole routine of it, and spraying is totally a part of it, so the dabber, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me, I love the spray. So anyway, okay, let's go ahead. sex. 
this soon and I do like it. It's nice. You have to like Lily of the Valley, but this one is not super strong. Some Lily of the Valleys are super sharp and headache inducing. This one's, it's nicely blended. It's nice. I just want to say, because I'm reminded of it, that this scent, the Cree Dior, does remind me so, so much of the Bottega Veneta signature scent. It's just called Bottega Veneta, and it's in, it's in a brown bottle with a black top. It reminds me so much of this. It's the closest thing I can think of that it reminds me of. Bottega Veneta also has oak moss in it, and it also has patchouli. It doesn't have rose, but it also has, it has the oak moss and patchouli, and it has a leather note. But yeah, Cree Dior, very similar to Bottega Veneta. The other thing that I can think of that it's just slightly similar to, not really that similar, but a little bit reminiscent of, is Rihanna's Fenty. Her, uh, her perfume from her Fenty line. That one also has patchouli and rose and, and maybe a couple other things in common. Okay, well, let's go ahead and read a few random reviews. See what people have to say about Cree Dior. So, somebody who feels really says, smells quite literally like my grandma used to when she was getting ready to go out. So I could see why someone would think that for sure. This is more of a classic, more mature smell to me. Somebody who really likes this says, this scent just resonates with me. It's simple and elegant, smells clean without smelling like a boring, fresh scent. Perfectly balanced, tasteful, and neutral. A little bit vintage, very French chic. For some reason, it makes me think of the smell of a luxury hotel room. It smells kind of soapy to me. Such a graceful scent. Okay, somebody who does not like this perfume says, this, uh, I received a sample of a couple. I received a sample a couple months ago and started wearing it for the first time last week after a few wears. Well, I am disappointed. Very strong, citrusy, woody opening, quite masculine on me, and I would not even appreciate it on a man, actually. It has this dusty quality and is rather weak in both projection and lasting power. I am relieved I don't like it considering the price tag. It's not bad for people who love it. I just think it's a good everyday elegant fragrance, but not for me. So that reviewer said dusty, and I could see why someone would say that. It's kind of, to me, I would say mossy, earthy, but I could see why someone would say dusty, but I don't, I don't really think it's dusty. I just think it's like earthy. Okay, let's go ahead and read another one. This is somebody who really likes it, and they say, my first one from the Dior Privé collection smells very clean and interesting, has a touch of rose. It's powdery and delicate, but lasts long on the skin. Projects for the first one to two hours. Good everyday option. Okay. Somebody else who really likes this says, very beautiful, fresh opening with bright bergamots and soft it progresses with patchouli and oak moss, no sweetness or unnecessary funk. It is so inviting. This is a more alluring version of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle that would be worn by both men and women. I can see there's a little bit of similarity to Coco Mademoiselle, but there's no oak moss in Coco Mademoiselle. At least I think. I personally prefer Coco Mademoiselle to this one. And I do have that one, and I am going to review it soon. So I'm excited about that. Well, sometime. No promises. That'll be super soon. Okay, let's read one last review. Let's find somebody who does not like this very much. Okay, somebody who really does not like this says, I simply don't get the hype around this scent. It smells so utterly cheap and boring to me, and there's a note that throws me off. Okay, um, let's see if I could find one more. Okay, 
somebody else says it's a dry, earthy, watery rose. I don't, I understand how some people might like it, but like some other perfumes, it comes off as screechy on me. Also, something about it reminds me of greasy hair with a ton of dry shampoo in it. I think this is further solidifying that I don't like patchouli. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. I don't know, nothing comes off as screechy to me. It's really nice to me, really balanced. Um, it's actually a little bit lower down to me, like not super sharp, super high down. It's a little bit lower down to me, I would say. It's just very earthy. It's grounded, you know, to me it's very, it's grounded. It's not like up here. So, yeah. So, to recap, what do I think about this perfume? I think this perfume is really lovely. It's very classic and more mature smelling. I would associate this with a woman at least in her 30s, if not older. Classy. Um, and yeah, you know, the Okumas, again, classy and earthy. So with the patchouli, it's just a little earthy and mossy. The rose, again, classy floral scent, a little bit old school, but I really like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think it's nice. I can see what people mean when they say clean. But it's clean and a very organic kind of, it's like dirty and clean at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's like dirty and clean at the same dang time. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so really nice. Um, I like it. I would definitely recommend this perfume. However, it's extremely expensive, so that is going to be a barrier for most people, as well as myself, but I don't like it enough to repurchase all spray bottle, so I'm not going to, I'm going to lovingly pass this along to somebody else who is going to love it as well. 